respiratory problems. Human guinea pigs. We were tests. It really is shocking, I think, to everybody to realize that these are, you know, weapons that were used on our own. That's how Representative Susan Davis responded when we showed her our investigation of chemical and biological warfare tests off Point Loma in the 60s. The tests were codenamed Shad and were done on the destroyer, the Herbert J. Thomas. Now, a three-month investigation by Fox 6 News has surveyed over 50 members of the crew and found a number that got sick after the tests. Representative Davis, who has co-sponsored legislation to help Shad vets, says they need to be found so they can be tested and cared for. The most important thing is to get to the vets who were involved during that time. Davis wasn't at all pleased to find out that the men weren't told what they were being exposed to. I felt like uh, cannon fodder. I think that people uh, obey the, the command, and I don't know in all cases that it was understood. Certainly with the decontaminants, maybe it was not understood that they could be harmful to the man who used them. The information that's coming out now after 35 years of secrecy reveals that men were exposed to BG, a precursor to anthrax, and on top of that, the ship was cleaned with toxic decontaminants. What we used on the interior of the vessel to decon at that time was beta lactone and formalin, both of which are known to be highly carcinogenic. And what has the men most upset is that the Pentagon has hid what it's known for 35 years. I believe it's a cover-up. Uh, I believe that they're trying to, to cover up what they did back there for, because of the liability. But Davis says it's time for the Defense Department to open up and admit what it did to the sailors. The most necessary thing is knowing um, the extent uh, of the exposure. Now, Davis says there's one message that comes through in the legislation, and it's straightforward. I think that the legislation is also sending a very clear message to the VA that we need to serve these veterans who have been exposed.